Alright, welcome back everyone. In this tutorial we're going to actually make or adjust our Achievement Manager script to automatically populate uh, the scroll view with all of our achievements. Now, from the last tutorial I kind of screwed up and forgot to actually attach the uh, Achievement Item Controller to our prefab, which I'm going to do right now. Um, drag it in here, attach it to uh, the script, and then I'm going to drag all the appropriate items back to where they're supposed to be. Description label. And then I'm going to hit apply. And I'm also actually going to make a achievement and test description. And hit apply. All right. Now we're good to go. I'm going to delete this and go into our clear these errors, go to our uh, achievement manager and I'm going to reload this and I come up here and I'm going to add two more variables that we need access to. First of all it's going to be a game object which is going to be our achievement item prefab and then I'm also going to take in a transform which is going to be where the the achievement items that get spawned will be parented to. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new function called, uh, uh, I don't know, let's see, load achievements in achievements table, something like that. And uh, first of all, all we're going to do is we're going to loop for each of our achievements inside our database, so achievement in our database that achievements, we're going to le loop for each one of them. Then we're going to instantiate a game object using instantiate, passing in our achievement item prefab, and uh, the content again is where it's going to get parented to, which would be inside that content area on the list. So if I go back real quick and wait for it to load once it compiles we can drag our little prefab in here and then the content will be this content that's where I want the items to spawn now if we go back to here because our achievement item is actually contains the achievement item controller script I'm going to go ahead and use the get component function, human item controller, and this is where you can make sure that it's actually there, but I'm assume that it will be since we're using that prefab. And then all we need to do is set controller dot achievement to this achievement and hit controller dot refresh view. Now I'm not going to worry about the lock and unlock right now. I just wanted to see if this works. So if we go to start and call this load achievement table, we'll go into Unity, and when we hit play, the achievements should show up. Ta da! And now, the thing is, I would be, I would prefer if I could do it during um, editor time as well. If I could just call this function in the context menu. That just loads the team achievements table. However, the problem with this right now is if I do this, it's just going to keep adding them on and on. And I don't want that. I want the, the achievements to be deleted if they're already there. We can make this work in the editor if we simply create a variable that will keep track of those achievement items. Um, so I'm going to create a list called achievement achievement item controller and I'll call this achievement items. Now I am going to make this serializable however I don't want it to show up in our editor so I'm going to call this hide and inspector. So now what I'm going to do is as we go in through and creating these achievements I'm going to add them to our uh, achievement items list and before we call this load achievements 
I want to go ahead and loop over each of the achievement items uh, achievement item controllers in our achievement items and I want to destroy immediate all of the game objects and then I'm just gonna go ahead and clear the achievement items list and then we're gonna go ahead and do what we've been doing so now not only does this work in the editor if I wait for it to compile and I come over here and I hit load achievements and I can keep doing that and it will delete the old ones it will also work in play mode and again if I make any changes to the database for example add a new achievement plus achievement or there we go hit generate enum if I go hit play you'll see that uh, it gets updated or if I manually update it using my function alright in the next video we'll talk about how to keep track of locking and unlocking these achievements see you in the next one